Jason, I'll just ask you about the, the first goal, the first goal of the other night. Um, how much satisfaction do you take from the fact that you know you lunging to reach a ball, which is a bit ahead of you, ends up with a goal? Is there a personal satisfaction from that? Um, no, no, not really. Obviously, um, you know, try to influence games as much as you can. Um, everyone has different ways of influencing the team and and the game. And um, obviously, yeah, just delighted um, to help the team in any way way I can. So. And that, do you view the game as an audition as such to, to start against France? Is that how you approach it? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, every game you play for your country um, has to be has to be taken like that. You know. You, you, Need to perform. It never stops. You know the pressure. The pressure is always there. Um, yeah, you need to perform to to stay in the manager's thoughts. So. And how did you assess your performance overall? Yeah, I was happy enough. I think um, I think I done okay during the game. Um, was pleased enough. Thought um, I was uh, meant to have sort of a quite disciplined role in, in terms of staying quite centrally and not venturing too far forward. So. Um, um, yeah, that's something I don't I don't play often with West Brom or Ireland, but obviously Josh wasn't playing, so um, I filled in to sort of take up um, that position. So, Brendan, please. <coughs> Jason, um, the programs like eighteen caps you have, um, which mean a lot of living in those eighteen caps, a lot of experiences. Um, from your first cap deny, um, could you give us a, an idea of the growth? Um, probably night and day, I'd say to be honest. Yeah, um, I think, like I said, like when when I first came in, I was um, probably wasn't playing regular first team football, and I think now with the experience that I have and you know the games and the games I've played, and I feel a lot more comfortable and I believe in myself and a lot more. And obviously, it helps playing regularly now at club level, and I feel I'm at that age where you know I'm, I feel really comfortable now playing for and I feel confident and stuff. So. Um, yeah, really happy. Just gentlemen, Jason, uh, I was just asking about your club manager's influence. Um, what sort of areas of your game has he tried to change or tweak, if any? Um, is there anybody else that influence with him as well and the way you have to play? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, he's been fantastic for us in the football club, and I think that's why the club probably gave him a new contract to, to tie him down because he's been. Really important and vital to us, and um, he's yeah. Um, for me and Dara, I suppose he's been brilliant as well. Um, obviously he likes players with with intensity and high energy, and I think um for me he's he's taught me way more about understanding the game and maybe adding different elements to my game. You know, up and getting into the box a lot more. I've been you know getting a couple more assists, a goal here or there, which you know I should probably have a few more goals this season from from the areas I've been getting in. So. For me, that's been really good, and um, I've been delighted to to continue to to listen to him and try and improve. You're obviously not the energy you bring to, to games when you're going into a game against a team like France. I mean, if you want to learn how to harness that a bit better, uh, you know, when you're playing such a yeah. side, you're going to end up chasing shadows. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. That's something I've definitely had to work on. Um, uh, abs- yeah, I think I've come on leaps and bounds with that as well. Um, way more discipline in my game, but. Um, Still can't take that out of me, or or I wouldn't be half the player. So um, yeah, no, I feel like that comes with with maturity, and um, I feel like I'm getting there. So, Ashley Riley, please. Yeah, Jason. Um, Monday night it sold out against France in the Aviva. Come up against some of the best players in the world. Where did this game rate in terms of your personal career? Oh, absolutely, it'll be the highest for sure. Um, the biggest game I I'll have played in. Um, if I feature, absolutely, and um. You know, these are the games obviously everyone wants to play in and yeah, you dream of as a kid and hopefully the atmosphere is um electric which I think it will be so no just really looking forward to it, yeah. And it's all there with the minute your friends and family able to come along to get tickets up in? Yeah, yeah, we well, have <laughs> trying to um scrape tickets out of the barrel to be fair. Um so yeah, I know there's a lot of people from back home in Waterford wanting to come up so um yeah, trying to look after everyone as much as I can so you do that, or does someone else take? Yeah, to be fair, no. The the team in there are brilliant. Like we're everyone that looks after us, so they're, they're unreal. But um, yeah, it's a bit of chasing around. But to be fair to to the people in the back room, they they do a lot for us. So hats off to them. Any bit smart, please. Yeah, Jason, I know a lot of the talk of the game was Mbappe is the name that's often mentioned, and seen the defenders personal battle against Mbappe. But 
it's selected, assuming you're selected, have you looked at their midfield in terms of who you or the other midfielders will be up against and just talk a bit about the French midfield? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we know, listen, like, um, these players are playing at the very the very top level um, in world football and, you know, they got, obviously got to the final of the World Cup and they're playing at massive clubs. So, um, to be honest, personally, I probably haven't looked at them individually uh, as an actual player and what their strengths are, but obviously the next few days we'll, we'll do individual clips with with the manager, with the assistant, with Keaton and stuff to, to really identify what their strengths are where they have weaknesses because every player has a weakness and yeah so just looking forward to sort of analysing them a bit more and and yeah looking forward to it. And just on the back end, it's been two local finals at the age of 22, 24, see somebody who's maybe you'd look at up to, to play against or you'd enjoy playing against? Oh absolutely yeah um, he's obviously incredible, He've, there's no other word to describe him so um, yeah unbelievable player and yeah, he's achieved so much so far in his career at such a young age. So yeah, really looking forward to to going playing against him. Hello, Prince. Oh, it's me. Uh, Jason, just a word about Darlan. You were you were on the pitch, but the day he got injured in Farrow, he walked off with a broken leg. Um, he was out for about nine months. Were you sort of cheering him along a little bit on his way back? Was he asking what was going on? You ever seen? And now you see him come back, and his form this year has been outstanding. And he was also very happy about you. Just a word about him and. Way he's come back from that injury, and what he's done this year. Yeah, he's been unbelievable to be honest. Um, he's really, really good friend of mine, and I think I was able to relate a lot um, when he was out with his injury. And I think he felt comfortable speaking to me about different things because he knew I could relate when other lads probably couldn't relate to being out for so long. But for me, look at uh, West Brom. You know, when he got given the captain's armband, we're in a bit of a sticky situation. You know, the fans were a bit. Upset, the club was in a bit of a, a poor position, and um, for him to take that pressure and put in the performances he has and really lead us, and he's he's grown more and more into that is um is a credit to him. So, um yeah, hats off to him, and yeah, I love playing with him, and he's really happy for him that he's he's back playing playing to to his level. So you had Jurgen as well. Absolutely, yeah. I feel like um. Rub off a bit well on it with each other because um, he's a bit of a cool, calmer head, and I'm a bit of um, not so cool and calm. Yeah, you say, so. yeah. You yeah, not long, <laughs> grand, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> nah, I was not chasing it. Um, <laughs> no, so it, it rubs off well with each other. I think so. Um, yeah, he's a good guy. And, yeah. Okay, guys, we'll go to those you have been either.